Okay, so just so you get a kind of a full context of how this works, we do have some video content. I sent you a link, but hopefully this might give you the full uh, idea. So uh, here I've just got a couple of cubes essentially. Um, and uh, that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, uh, the next step here is to create the sections. So I'm going to create a new layout tab, which is called Layout 3. Nothing's here. We're going to get rid of this viewport. And then on the Layout tab, which is contextual, it's not going to appear if you're in model space, uh, then uh, what you'll do here is you'll create a view base from model space. And you'll place this here. You'll select the orientation, which in this case is probably top. Okay, so now I get a top-down view of those my my object geometry. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll go ahead and click OK to exit. Okay, and uh, it'll stay in this, but I'll just get out of that plan. So now I've got a top-down plan. Now I want to have a section. So to do that again, go to the Layout tab here, and there's the Section tool. And we'll do a full section. We'll select the parent view, in this case this, and we'll draw the, the section. So I'll draw that. Um, I want the section to be pointing up that way. And uh, then I will place the section. If I want a hatch option to show hatching, I'll sh turn that on. And then I'll finish. OK, so the next step is to then Select the view that the section view that you've just created, and then edit the view in order to control the distance. So maybe I don't. I want to see just as I'm cutting through this object. I don't want to see this particular uh, box in the background. So I can then uh, go into the pull down here and choose either full, slice, or distance. So let me choose distance, and 2.5 gives me right up tight. If I make this. 10. I'm not sure if this is going to necessarily work, but yeah, it did. So it went ahead and showed that. So you can uh, you can see that I can control the distance. I think you can also use a depth distance to specify where exactly that cut happens. So if I place it here, it's it's going to cut through. If I place it right here, it won't. Okay. So hopefully that explains that uh, particular workflow.